Okay, I got the ammo supply shuttle. I'm on Triton. I'll get the main base, Sally Port. I'll get the second base, Silly Towers or Salty Towers? Which is it? Silly Towers. Silly Towers. Okay. Now, let's get docked. Grab some parts. Let's reset the route. Anything particular you need on this trip? Uh, no. Do you need steel, lights, connector, cable, parts, anything? Uh, no. Self, uh, pretty much self sufficient. Do you need grids? No, I've got loads of grids. Right, well, I'll just bring out steel then. Just some carrying something. Okay. Record path and set home. Okay, connector one, set. I wouldn't Undock. come out yet. If you're recording a path, I wouldn't come yet. Why? That storm. <laughs> you want to see? <laughs> it's no storm. Ah, oh, that doesn't make a difference. Yeah. Look it okay. Okay, I need the ship to undock and not friggin' hold me here. Two blocks, uh, some stuff back. Okay. There's a military gun post eight kilometers away. Okay, we're getting to 500 meters. How far away is that military gun post, and do we need to take it out right now? It's, uh, what is it, two kilometers behind Space Beast over there at Silly Towers? Three kilometers in closing.
two kilometers, commencing descent. Starting our flyby. Access denied. Lining up. Those two blocks are the problem. I can easily survive without them. See, none of those cargo containers on that ship are labeled, and all those small ships are visible in inventory window. That on on the quadrilla. Yeah, like that's the sort of thing that we need to. Like we don't need to see all those small. Labeled silly towers, it's a thousand liters. There's a small cargo container. All right, let's see. We should be empty. We're charging. Now let's see if we can get back to base without banging us. Shut up. If this doesn't work, I have to push the connector back even further from the door. I would say it used a lot of power coming out here, but I know it didn't. It was because I was um, doing all the conveyor work. Have you seen my sign? Uh, no. No, I, I can't. It's not that I'm not looking. You have to remember, I can't read. So it... Um, Be in a good position for me to be able to see it. 
I'm from inside the cockpit. Uh, I do not. I could have brought the parts to fix those solar panels. I know. <laughs> yeah, five, I have got him at the thing get around to him. Yeah, and I can't make out any sign anywhere. It's uh, above the door. Yeah, that's not, that's not something I can make out. It says, welcome, now go away. Yeah, sorry, it's not something I can make out. So the other, Caleb. Yeah. The other military tower, you can see it while sitting at at uh, at uh, at Space Beast Silly Tower here. Yeah, I think it's eleven point three six kilometers from us, I believe. Yeah, but you can physically see it. Ah. Like it's just it's going to keep launching, and it's not like a dot on the distance. It's no, we can you can. Yeah, it's fully it. visible. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we could, we could bake a cobbler and walk them into the neighborhood. That's it's that close. Ninety-two percent. Interesting. Gave me a different view. If he switched out his um, his Top Gun with like a uh, like a three fifty six or a two eighty nine or some three digit number gun, he could easily hit it. Are we talking within two kilometers? Space Beast, how far is that tower from you back there? Which tower? The enemy tower that's directly behind you. Lookout tower or the gun post? Either one. What's the one that's uh, well, off to the, the south southwest? It's over there by the mountain. I've got. Cargo ingots, cargo depot. Ah, um, it doesn't say. I don't know what that one is. Doesn't, doesn't have a name.
Uh, the garage is functional now. Cool. Flying over the southwest entrance, off to our left. Flying over some debris, some more debris, and another thing on fire on the roof. And there's some shit on fire on the side of the hill. It's just a veritable <laughs> burning pile of shit. <laughs> That's about normal, isn't it, for out there? Just, just makes you so glad to come back home and look out the window. Ah, uh, home shit home. Please, please do not smack into the door this time. Okay, we're going in and... Poof. Bam, uh, what the fuck is your problem? Oh my god. Which one did you take? Uh, major problems now. All sorts of shit is broke. Let's see if we can, can we get to repair? No, we can't. You know, I so wanted to use this door. Why the hell can it not fly through it? <coughs> Hi, I'm the ship flying through trail and smoke. If you get in my way, obviously. <laughs> You're not very bright. I'd repair the ship, but some idiot left a welder, a miner, on the dock, on the welders. Should be a way to send a radio signal to the welders. You know, for them to come on. Like, I don't know, a sensor. Is that button that I put in still? <laughs> I yeah. thought that would have by now. Yeah, people are mad about it, but it's still there. <laughs> it was there only as a temporary measure because I thought it's get it's getting a. Uh, Extended and changed, so I thought it's going to be ground uh, out. Uh, no, it was. It got pushed back because we wouldn't bring it further into the the sally port. It got pushed into the stuff that was dug out. Yeah, no, that's what I thought. I thought it would get in, and that side panel. I thought it had been moved onto there. I had all intentions of. Getting, having it ground, being grinded up, so...
Uh, Jim, are you in? Yeah, I'm in uh, the cockpit. Both? Oh. Yeah, I'm in the cockpit over here. Oh, the trucks? No. No. Because I think I got this thing working pretty well now. Cool. What's the secret of your success? Um. Fake it till you make it. Alright. Let me try closing this. Ah, ah, ah. And it's the wheels ah, on the bottom? No. I'm working on that. I need it closed for the wheels. It'll close itself soon. As I find what it's catching on. Right here, but I can't do anything about that at the moment. But how is it connected? Oh, right here, where I'm standing. There's a side That's connector? Yeah, oh, there's not a connector at all. Well, it's got to be connected. Look, I made a garage. You didn't say nothing about a connector. How's it going to charge? You got solar panels on it. You specifically asked if it's all connected to one connector. Is the whole thing connected? And I said yes. I mean, it, as long as you take it out and, you know, play with it once every two days. But she does, the, the garage, <laughs> the connector part, uh, yeah. Do you recall where this conversation started? I recall I told you I'd make a tray that pulled in and out. And I said I wanted to know about having a piston come out to grab onto it to make it to dock to it. So what you'd have to do is when the, when you press the button, as this thing comes back, the, the connecting piston's going to have to come out. Or. Shit. All right. I'll figure that out. Could just put a reactor on it. I think the truck still needs a beacon. So not have one? I don't think, I haven't seen it. I don't think so. Because it went through a bunch of repairs. I'm um, searching just for beacon here. I don't see anything. I see cryo chamber, but no beacon. Yep, and then it doesn't have a beacon. You, you wouldn't have renamed it, would you? I would have given it the ship's name. If I had put one on. So no, it probably got lost. And then during a repair, it got rebuilt without it. Yeah, because I'm not seeing one on here. I mean, come on, this thing fits through here. Oh, yeah, it does fit. Oh, you're talking about that. Yeah. Gotta build a whole friggin' hangar back here. All right, you want me to put the beacon on here, or you want to do it yourself? No, no, go ahead. If you find a spot that looks, uh... Halfway you know, decent. Appropriate, but it's got to be on the tractor. Got it. Technically, all three of them need a beacon. But it's assumed it's a unit, you know? Yeah. from the outside anywhere to put one. Might just have to grind it down a little bit. I was thinking the armor block's up by the cap. Yeah, that's If I like. had put it somewhere, that's where I would have put it. I would have taken out two of those blocks and it would have been in line-ish. Yeah. 
I mean, that's that's the only place I can think of as well. Also going to put a nuclear reactor on here, so you're not completely relying on solar. On a beacon? Yep. I make them one. That's what I did. Oh, I thought you said 100. That's a one. My bad. That's alright. Now I'm just trying to figure out where to put this reactor for you. I would just put a connector on them. Because without a connector, there's no way to know where it is on the base. It's in the garage. Yeah, that's, but it's not on the big board. I understand what your solution is, but, you know, it doesn't achieve one of the I, first main goals. You know, it's... I know, and, and I get where you're coming from. It, it's just parking this thing and then trying to maneuver it towards a connector while it's parked, in, like, inside the garage here is... Well, actually, if I made it part. Does it need to transfer cargo at all? Well, how's it going to load? Uh, you're making good points here, and I don't like it. All right, sounds good. It's not going to be a full tray then. It's going to be a one-way parking. I, I don't recall. I mean, again, I I didn't bring the tray. Was your idea, man? It's yeah. I, mean, I know. I just want you've achieved the to you've achieved the requirement on. of tray, but <laughs> you've it's not a, of it's not achieve it's not achieving the requirement of a connector. Yeah, let me get on that. Where is the nearest tube from here, Jesus? Directly underneath and directly above. Okay. And then going back a little bit, it's uh, CIC. Alright. Alright, this, this has to be enough for this thing to spin the fuck around. Some damn staircase I was kicked out of the other day. There it is.
Hey, hey, hey. Hello, everybody. How's it going today? How long was that walk with that dog? It wasn't. It was a letter out, and then my wife's like, well, you know, we're doing this, this, and this. It's like, so I had to get the barbecue grill out of the garage, and that means trying to get the snow blowers put away and the lawnmower out. And it's like a, a whole big shuffle thing. So I got most of it done, and then I, it's like, okay, I think we're good for now. There's still some stuff to do, but it's going to have to wait because I got to get back because my guy maybe died. Should be sitting in the ship. John, you back out the harvest in part from all those shut down ships? Hmm. So do you want to see the, uh, the table that, uh, Uh, Jim, that's there for just me for the moment, so I'm not walking back and forth. I deleted it since I'm done over. Oh, here. okay. All right, no problem. I just I didn't know what it was. Just flying by. Yep. Did you want to see the table he built there, Crowbar? <laughs> Is it your table? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, he built it. How did I get out here? Where are, where is out here? I'm at the uh, silly towers. It looks like. And he must have died out there. How did I get out here? I was in base. Game thought you were being silly, but sure you belonged. Yeah, that's I a, guess that's, so. That's the last <laughs> medical kit you touched. I guess. <laughs> Where the hell oh, it can't be because I touched the medikit inside the base numerous times. My quadrilla's disappeared. Was it grid name? Was its name grid name? Did it have a beacon? Yeah. That's why it disappeared because its name was grid name. No, no, it wasn't grid name. I... So, but it had a beacon and everything. Are you positive? Yes. Yeah. The hell just exploded. I see Koba. I'm heading back towards uh huh. silly <laughs> silly port. Oh no, Sally Port, sorry. I said Sally that Port. You see how he just completely disrespects us. Quadrill is back. Oh, well that's good. Did the heat think it turned off? No, it's still there. Yeah, I guess I'm not going fast enough to build any up just yet. If you and if you're near the floor, it yes, it sort of, it sort of keeps you full. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not too high up, <laughs> which means I'll probably die from flying into the ground.
my whole damn garage here for this thing. Six and a half kilometers. What's uh, you go for kilometers? right tonight? Two fifty. Six and a half kilometers from there. Two fifty. Three hundred meters. Five kilometers. How good are you at backing that uh, truck up? <coughs> uh, it's much easier for anybody to pull it forward. Three <laughs> kilometers. <coughs> the easiest way to back it up is disconnect the third trailer, use remote control. Mm, that's unfortunate. 425, two kilometers starting my descent. to Philly Towers? Yep. Hey, it's Jeff. Hey, it's Dan. It's Hi. Jim. Hey, 200 meters. And maybe you've gone there somewhere. Permission to fly by your tower and still not see your sign. <laughs> Permission for a flyby. Did you see my sign, uh, Boba? Yeah, I did. No good, Roger. The pattern Welcome. is full. Now go away. <laughs> <laughs> go away, or I will taunt you some more. <laughs> is Don there? Uh, he's somewhere here, but I haven't heard him talk recently. Did he say he was going to AFK for a while? Or I heard a conversation about a shake. Ah. I mean, I'd go AFK for a milkshake right about now. Mm. Yeah, me too. Yeah, it's... I, if I could have one. You guys can do it at your home or something, but not me. I gotta... McDonald's has drive throughs All right. You I think I want a McDonald's? Uh, several, several truck stops yeah, have... Well, a, I... Several truck stops have Baskin-Robbins... Or a Starbucks, you can get a Frappuccino. You can get equivalents, or you can go to the yeah. you can go to the Quickie Mart 
inside the sea stop and you can get yourself a pint of milk a pint of ice cream and get yourself a, uh, a root beer or a coke and you make yourself your own coke or root beer float Quickie Mart, isn't that the name of Apu's thing? Yes, in, yes, it uh, is. Yes, it is. Parks, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My flat <Okay>. meat. <laughs> Roadkill dog. You know those um, those, those old tiny milkshake machines to see at pharmacies and stuff that had the big cans on them, the big tins. Yeah, when you look at pictures of them and you see those people that were working there in the 50s as soda jocks, it looks just like Jeff and Dan. <laughs> yeah, right, okay. <laughs> I, yeah, yeah, I'm old. That sounds That's disrespectful. <laughs> I don't even know. Damn kids, anyway. Right, Jeff? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, boomer. Uh So old-timey milkshake machines, those are just not old-timey. They're still used. You can go to places like uh, Johnny Rockets. They have them with the... Uh, matter of fact, you can buy them on Amazon. The big... Uh, they're... Um, who's the people that make the stand mixers that you give as a wedding gift? KitchenAid. Uh, KitchenAid. KitchenAid. The KitchenAid, KitchenAid stand mixer. They make a, a, a KitchenAid version uh, uh, shake maker. Yeah, it's just I don't. Well, I don't know if I want to Google Johnny Rocket to tell you the truth. <laughs> I'm pretty afraid of what it might come up on the screen. That's a rock and roll cafe. Don't they have this setup. Rock and roll cafe. There. Isn't Johnny Rockets the burger hot dog place that does like the mm-hmm. the people all sing the songs during the when a song comes on the radio? The people are supposed to waiters waitresses sing and dance. Jesus, that would get annoying. They do it at Joe, Joe's Crab Shack too. So Jeff, where are you traveling across this great fifty states? Um, uh, I'm up in uh, Kentucky at the moment, headed to, headed to Ohio in the morning. I went uh, back to up- Ohio. Uh, South Charleston, around Columbus. Yeah, I went back there because that's where my family was from. Yeah, mine too, actually. Hmm. Oh, cool. The answer to your question there is, Caleb, is no, it is not easy to back up that articulated rover. If you want to back it up, what you want to do is go back to the uh, hinges and set them to lock. And then you're just I, a straight line. I mean, I'm just building the parking spot. You're the one who's going to be driving it. Who pulled it in there? You told me, I, hey man, I was talking about a connector. You made some automated slide thing. Yeah. The electric slide. Yeah. And Could, then you will have to back it up to connect it anyway, so. Jeff, have you ever hauled for the post office? Have I ever been what? Have you ever hauled for the oh. post office trailers with walking floors? No. No. I've only seen that, and I've never done it. Yeah, my father invented this. Uh, he did. Ma'am. He gave the patent up for free. Because he was at a bar drunk one night. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, that's a story he used to tell me. My dad would never lie to me, even if he was drinking. Uh huh. I, I held a lot of neat things over the years, but never that. And I, I, I talk to the guys that haul like wood or something, wood chips, and they're, and they back it off with a walking floor. Um, but not me. Um, 
Now, uh, what's going on here? I got a. Yeah, speaking of truck drivers, we haven't heard from Karib Canuck in a while. No. I wonder if he's busy because the weather opened up. Crowbar, are you still out here at uh, Silly Towers? No, I'm back in base. Oh, okay. Hey, uh, Dan. Yes, Jeff. Did I tell you about the uh, the uh, elusive uh, oil mine, oil well? No. I uh, on here on Satisfactory. I I I went to a node that you no know, on the sensor, and went up to that point um, where where the mine was supposed to be, where the where the, where the well was supposed to be. And I'm looking around. I'm not seeing anything. I'm I'm just looking for a big puddle of oil somewhere, and I'm just not seeing it. Just see a bunch of rock. And I and then I finally in my corner of my eye I see something moving up there. And I saw it first a creature at first, but I looked towards it. I said, "What the hell is that?" And when I got closer to it, this thing was shooting up about three, four feet in the air. It was crude oil shooting through the rock. Wow. And and. And then, yeah, and I've never seen that before, not in this game, and then uh, not anywhere. But but um, then I uh, I said, okay, uh, maybe I have to blast a rock up around it, throw some that not novelist the uh, dynamite thing in there. So I threw a stick of dynamite in there, and then I blew it up, and nothing happened. So I threw five sticks in there, blew that up, and still nothing happened. Then I um, look up there. I'm standing right above it. It says that the uh, the oil, the the node is 248 meters away. Hmm. Huh? <laughs> so I started headed that direction, but then it went behind me. Hmm. Huh? And I kept on coming back. And I said, "Wait a minute! It are you are you saying it's down 248 meters or 268 meters?" And I I guess. So I'm looking all around there, and I I keep on seeing, like I see a bust up rock and stuff, and I'll I blow that away, and underneath it, it shows um, like oil stained dirt, but no no oil well. So I just is there somewhere? It must be a tunnel somewhere. It's a mystery. Hmm. Where that? I'm I'm near it right now. I'm probably about a kilometer away from it now, but. Um, um, I found three oil wells here, and I'm I'm uh, working on them now, trying to figure them out. Um, I'm two normals and a pure. You know what the first thing you have to do when you find an oil well? Eureka! Tell your kinfolk. Why a sake? You know what the second thing yeah. is you got to do? What's that? Move on away from there. Uh huh. You know, Beverly Hillbillies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we loaded up the truck and it moved to Beverly. Man, we use that Granny Clamp a chair conversation. Look, uh, comment a lot though. Yo. You know, the Granny Clamp a chair. You know, when more people show up than you designed the ship for, got a stack of granny clamp a chair up on the top. This thing's going to be docking on the roof if it smashes into this wall one more time. <laughs> I told you you should put it on the roof to begin with. No, no, this is way cooler. Uh huh. Okay. It is quite entertaining to watch it smash into the wall every time you try. <sighs> like, there's no reason for it to cut that corner like that. Yeah. 
Yeah, there is. How else is it going to irritate you? I mean, the route doesn't work that way. The route takes it directly out and across the hall to the center line. It doesn't, it shouldn't cut the corner and... Well, that's a good reason not to be on the roof. Up on the roof! I don't know, I think the roof is a safe place. Hey, guess what the status screen says now? Damage detected! <laughs> oh, really? Hmm. Is it because you slammed into something? <laughs> Hey, you know, if programming an automated route was easy, it wouldn't be as challenging. Yeah, I might need a toe out of here now. <laughs> she has she's lost all of her lift. It's just stuff. <sighs> oh, she lost a battery. That sucks. How much are you going to be playing satisfactory until you come back and join us in Space Engineers? What was the question? How much longer are you going to be on satisfactory with all the new updates until you come back and join us all on Space Engineers? And when I finish? Well, what is your goal? Every node, 100% of each resource? Like, what's your... I don't know. I, I tell you what, it's probably until I get bored with it. Right now, I'm, um, well, I tell you, I, I, I was talking to John about this, I, I've, uh, improved the game somewhat here, um, I've designed new systems, um, on the, uh, it's like I said, I said, in the old days, I would, if I found, say, a limestone mine, I wanted concrete from it, I would, I would make three constructors side by side, and then I hook up on one end, I hook up the uh, splitter, and then run the three conveyors over there to them, and then uh, the, um, and then a, a merger on the other side, and then, then they go into storage until I have all this con concrete for them. Well, that's what I used to do. Today, um, I do the same thing, if not three, four, five, six, whatever constructors, but I don't use any belts. None. So you have these constructors that are working all by themselves, and uh, because of what I've come up with, and then um, hooking up, uh, I've actually plopped down manufacturers sitting right next to each other, I mean, in 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 front of it, behind it, whatever. Uh, they're completely surrounded by other manufacturers. There's no conveyors being used. So. Um, it's, I've gone pretty far with this. I just, like yesterday, um, I was looking at one of John's manufacturers. He was making um, heavy modular frames. and But there was not enough steel pipes going to it. So I went back along the, the line to see where the steel pipes were being made. And I thought he had one one constructor making them. and Or one assembler making and then and then I uh, well I can increase I can I can but no it's a bit steel pipe would be a constructor and then I um, I said well I can increase them but there's no space around it he's got like machines everywhere and it's there's no more space to put them um, you gotta be close by here uh, how do I do this and then I so I said I'm gonna just go I'll just go above these this this one and put a couple up, up above it but pretty hard to do that since there's, he's got a ceiling up there that's really low, uh, not much room to play with. But I, I worked on it and I did it. I put two of them up there, and then using a series of uh, some conveyors, but mostly uh, uh, verticals, 
uh, live. And then, um, um, but then I and I got them built finally. But uh, there's not much uh, steel ingots coming in, into it to, to be. Now it's going to three of them. It's just no, nah, there's not enough being produced. So I went back there and I overclocked the uh, the foundry to make more of them, and that worked for about four seconds until the coal couldn't keep up with it. Oh, right. So I went back and I said, it was a coal mine, and it was a Mark One. And I said, okay. So I upgraded it to a Mark Three, and then all the belts were updated to a to a Mark Five. Um, and then, but um, okay, I got that working just fine without without overclocking or nothing. Um, but then the um, it still wasn't producing enough enough ingots. Uh, it needs more foundries. So I I I had to maneuver the, the, the existing foundry that had a couple more, and I I found a place nearby to put a couple foundries in there, and I ran coal to it, and then then I then I tried to run the uh, ore to it, the iron ore. And there wasn't enough coming down the line. He had that thing split off five different places. One little mine, one little normal mine. I said, oh my gosh. So I upgraded that to a Mark II, and that took care of the problem. That's all you needed. Um, it took me about an hour and a half for all this stuff, but that, when he sees it, he'll say, how the hell did you get that equipment up there, up in the sky? And then, um, it was a, it was a trip uh, to make all that work, but uh, I've um, I'm working on the space elevator um, stuff on the tier eight, whatever beyond tier eight, um, and all the things, ten thousand items, and I'm I'm about uh, twenty uh, twenty five percent done with the first one. I've got. Um, I, I built about 26 to 30 manufacturers on one floor of a building I built, and then um, and stuff everywhere. And, and there's, but I got these, these designs. When John was making a, a, a manufacturer, he would run these belts like all the way from wherever the resource was, way over to the manufacturer and go into the manufacturer. I said, John, how would you add another manufacturer doing the same thing? Oh, man, i got to run all those belts again. Uh-uh. Ain't going to do it. I showed him. I had built four manufacturers sitting right next to each other. And I and I, I put them together with resources going to it and all this stuff. All four of them in less than ten minutes. How the hell did you do that? I put four more in and Let me show you how to do it. I don't use those conveyors. I don't. Uh, this is much faster the way I'm doing it. These are things that I've designed in the game that I looked online for people doing it, and they're not doing it. They're not doing this. What I've come up with. So, um, when it becomes, um, um. I keep on making it better, so it's uh, it's become interesting. Now I have I have to have three different forms of ADD, attention deficit disorder, and so like, things become bored to me kind of quickly. And in order to keep the, me interested in it, I have to um, I have to make it better somehow. And um, And anyway, the um, I do, and um, I just have to keep it interesting. Uh, space engineers, I did not like being slammed into the walls back and forth. Uh, the the lag was just horrible. Um, and then um, um. 
And it's also the same thing. There was no difference. Um... I mean, here, here it is, uh, Dan, the other day, he says, I'm making more storages. Oh, that's interesting. That's really exciting. Um, gee whiz, uh, more storages. I said, I, 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 I gotta live to play a game like that, build storages. And, and I'm trying to figure out how to make the engine made out of gravity drives. With a conveyor belt or an assembler. You know, they're all facilities. You got to build all of them to play the game. So what's the difference, really? In this game, I go through a, I go through the the, the giant base we have built, and I look for snags in it, things that aren't working correctly, and I and then I find them, and then I fix them. Uh, do whatever I can to make it work work again. Mm -hmm. um, I'm doing that right now. Um, I, I overclocked a pure uh, ore extractor just now, or a little bit ago, and but I had to upgrade the pipe, or it won't it won't hold it. Um, it's up to 600 uh, uh, cubic meters, I guess he caught or something, and uh, the pipe was only at 300, so I had to upgrade the pipe. I just noticed I have a law, whole, whole bunch of petroleum and coke here. Storage is completely full. Uh, I've already got uh, one, two, three, four, five coal uh, generators here uh, turned away making electricity, and I'm going to add some more. I'm going to add about 20 of them. More electricity would be, would be great. Right now we're about 600 to spare, 600 megawatts of spare, and like that's going to run out kind of quick. Uh, oh, I need cable. I went out and hunting the other day. Um, found all kinds of stuff to kill, and I uh, found about 30 power shards. Um, that was a lot of fun. And Every time I every time I do something in this game uh, to get a milestone or something like that, I get a bunch of cool stuff for for doing it. Uh, new things to make, and I like the drones. I have not made them yet. I got a I got a task for them now, but I finally figured it out where to where I could use them. Uh, but um, I haven't. Uh, I haven't got that far yet. I have this list of stuff to do. I told John that I'm, um, I keep on getting more stuff to do, and and um, my list is kind of long at the moment. And then, and then when I get these things done, I turn around and I said, "I mean, I got to do this now, and I got to do this." It goes on forever. Hey Dan, you remember how long we played Astroneer before yeah. moving on? Was it a year or something? Oh, well, probably longer than that. I mean, over over two thousand hours or something, and um, um, because I was coming up with these, I said there's no content, so they came out with creative mode, and I could create new content. I came up with all these scenarios and stuff that for us to do. And I did a hundred of them. 
uh, I kept on coming up with new ones and stuff. We work all day all long on these things. It kept the game going until it just ran out of steam, you know. Uh, well, then, um, where'd we go after that? Was it No Man's Sky or? Um, well, actually, there was a kind of a branch in the tree. You guys went and played, the, what was that one city? Of oh, Lord Rings. of the Rings. We played that for about yeah. a year, I think. And then also uh, we played uh, Star Wars, I think. The old Yeah, Rings, or, played that for a little while. Not not as long, though. And then, um, uh, we asked you to play Lord of the Rings, but you said it's not for you. And, yeah. Um, well, that was uh, it. What was that one that that uh, that was brought back from the dead from 15 um, years ago? Jim, I'm gonna go eat dinner, but I got the garage mostly done with the connector on it. I might have to tweak it, and I still got connected to the main conveyor system, but I'll get that done after I eat. Enjoy your dinner, sir. Oh, I'm back. Hello, John. Hey, Jeff. Hey. Are your ears burning? 